It's me, Chef Deadpool, and I've officially taken over Chef Gambino's Gluten-Free Adventures, but just for this episode. Today, I'm going to be making gluten-free baked ziti. I have my water boiling, my pan heating up, my oven is hot. I am on the ball today. Gonna use some nice barilla, bari, ba, ri, la la la, bari la la. Okay, anyway. Oh, that's hot stuff. I'm gonna get my meat heating up. I got me some turkey meat. You know, cause cows have it bad enough, right? We milk them. To get this stuff. We might as well leave their asses alone and kill some turkeys. So stay tuned. When we come back, I'm gonna have my, my Pyrex container right here and I'm gonna throw my pasta and all that jazz in there. We'll be right back here on Chef Deadpool's Gluten-Free Adventures. Welcome back. So here is everything we need to make a fantastico big zitio. All right, so I'm gonna start by just scooping some of the sauce, lining the bottom of the pan with the ziti tray. Then I'm going to sprinkle in some pasta. Beautiful. You can see I keep it on this um, bowl because I don't want to leak and it just is it's clean. Um, the sauce and the meat, the sauce is ragu and the meat I seasoned with some onion powder and uh, garlic powder because I don't have or really want onion or garlic. So, gonna throw on some more sauce. Get it all in there. And then, I'm going to do four dollops of ricotta or ragout, if you're from certain parts of Brooklyn. Or I guess people in other parts of the world say rag ragout. How many G's in ricotta? This many. How many U's? Same amount. But it's still ragout. Anyway, Throw on a good sprinkling of the mozzarella or the mozz. What's the bastardization of mozzarella? The mozzarella. There we go. How could I possibly have forgotten? Anyway, throw on more pasta. More sauce. Four more dollops of cheese. Okay. Some more mozzarella. A little more 
the sauce. Rest of the pasta. Rest of the sauce. Don't mind the bottom of this pan. It's probably not very clean because it is not very new. Spread that around. Kind of move all the sauce and the pasta to the edges of the pan. Gonna sprinkle it with the last bit of cheese. After this, no more cheese. Add me a little more. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna cover it with my pre-measured tin foil. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Stay tuned. Oh, hi. Well, the big Z is still in the oven. But I thought I'd take the chance to tell you that on Friday and Saturday of this week, that being October 6th and 7th, I'm going to be at Comic-Con, dressed almost exactly like this. A different apron, probably. But I'll certainly be there, as I have a Friday and Saturday badge. Uh, Chef Gambino, or I, will be handing out awesome prizes throughout Comic-Con. So make sure if you see me, or that guy, say, hey, what do you have? Or say something to the effect of, I watched your episode, you were funny, or terrible, I heard you have some awesome prizes. And I'll say, thank you for watching, or go to hell, but here's a new prize. So, I hope to see you at Comic-Con, and I hope to see you, Mr. Zini in just a bit. Stay tuned. Well, here we have our finished product. Let us dig in. Oh, right. Well, I'm going to taste this when you're not watching. And I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Chef Deadpool's Gluten-Free Adventures. Chef Gambino will be back next week. Promise. <laughs>